everyone and welcome back to my channel, I'm Moe Crossing and today we have bells apparently. <laughs> and today, sorry, the background music distracted me. Okay, today we're going to be doing um, a build around Cole's house and it's going to be Kiki's, well not Kiki's, it's Ursula from Kiki's delivery service. Um, her cabin in the middle of the forest. I really love the cabin, it looks really sort of serene and beautiful. And yeah, so I decided that Cole's house would be almost perfect. It's meant to be a log cabin, I'll get into it later. Anyway, let's start the build. So I was about to start when I saw, look at the little horns be, let's go take a picture with them on the bench. Oh, so cute. I'm so, hey, come on now. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You well. I guess we'll just go with the speed build. <laughs> okay, as I was saying before, this is going to be Ursula's cabin. I will show you a picture of it right here. So it's very sort of luscious log cabin. Well, the lusciousness is the forest, not the cabin. But yeah, anyway, it looks like a like really peaceful scene. So I really wanted to recreate it on my um, area that's the Mononoke forest to the left. If you want to see that video, I will link it right here. Anyway, um, there are many villagers that have a actual log cabin as their house. For example, Bo, um, Molly, to name a, a couple. Um, and I was thinking I could like, invite someone on, but I actually didn't know where to put coal. And if you don't know, Cole is my sort of soot sprite um, <laughs> from the Ghibli universe, so I can't get rid of him, but I didn't know where to put his house. And I felt like it fit the vibe rather than being an exact replica, which, as I say in all of these speed builds, is usually what I'm going for, as with Animal Crossing, there really isn't enough items to make anything really that exact, so... <laughs> I like doing things up to interpretation. Anyway, I've placed the plot, I've done a little bit of the uh, path work and I've chopped down a tree because there's a lot of, I, I think, is she some sort of lumberjack? At least she seems to chop down some trees for her wood fire. So of course we've got to have some elements of that and I'm just trying to add as many different like heights of tree because I don't have a very big space to continue this forest um, I am trying to keep the amount of trees to a minimum but also make it look as lush and as in the middle of the forest as this area can look so I've added at least three rows of trees I think in the end back here um, again all of them are the cedar trees just because that's what it looks like in the picture and I do usually like to do combos of trees but I felt like this gave the right kind of look especially in autumn I'm not sure when I'm going to be setting this island but if it is autumn or spring I didn't really want any of the like different colors in there just I wanted it to be all dark and moody so yeah there is a lot of this video of me just adding trees <laughs> a lot a lot of me adding trees well, I guess what what do I expect from a uh, build which is in the middle of a forest? Okay, so we've moved to the next day now and his house is here. This is what his house looks like. If you missed it earlier, it was only briefly there. Um, I start adding some of the path up to the side of the house. And I realize that because this is such a rounded house, it looks like you can put a little slot down there, but you can't. It's you, you just can't get as close to this house, but that's fine, that's fine. Also another thing I use a lot of and had to buy a lot from Leaf of uh, these bushes. I had to use all of my leftover supply as well, so it's a big combo of different like bushes, which is what I wanted. I want it to look sort of haphazard. And because Ursula is a artist, um, I've put in that easel at the front and now we're working on the back. I did something similar to this in my Totoro area, which I did on stream a long time ago, where I'm adding these sort of vines and also that little um, mini Totoro there as well, just as a sort of little Easter egg. 
But yeah, anyway, um, just to make it look like it goes back further than it does. Again, making this area more in one area rather than it having to be billions of trees. It sort of blocks out the back. As you can see, just adding a few bits and pieces here, including trying out several different workbenches. Because I just wanted to look like she's, you know, not a handyman per se, but like she's creative. She's like doing her own thing. She is a DIYer. So again, trying to make the forest look full. I don't know what happened to the trees in front. I guess I wasn't happy with the position, so <laughs> I moved them. Maybe giving myself a little bit more space, making it a little bit more rounded. This build did take several days, so you will see that. And also because I had to grow a lot of trees as well to different heights, you will see it jumping all over the place time-wise. Here I didn't have a painter's set and the lovely Spontaneous sent me it. Thank you very much, lifesaver. Yes, I could have bought more, like bought one, but our lovely Discord members are always great with uh, last minute items. Thank you so, so much. Adding a few more trees here and there. Adding a lost item because the book. Why don't we have a book like the lost item, like journal thing? It's absolutely adorable. Adding a few like bits and pieces, flowers, and just general textures around because I can never have anything that's just grass. <laughs> Even though I actually quite liked it as just grass at the beginning. Um, pulling out the forest area behind again, adding a, a couple of insects and rocks and more bushes <laughs> because I'm apparently obsessed with bushes now. I've always liked bushes but I think this island is going to be absolutely full of them. <laughs> okay and on to the next day I decide to add a little Kiki costume when she comes to visit. I couldn't find anything that was related to Ursula. If you have a code, let me know. And again, moving forward another day, adding more trees. Just can't get enough. And extending this area over. I thought I'd done enough over, but clearly I was wrong. <laughs> it really does, like, I know that's how perception like sight works, but it, it, you really have to go way wider than you always think. At least that's what I, I always say this in every speed build. Like, it took more space than I thought it did. And yet I never learned. Um, yep, yeah, adding some trees at the front to sort of block off the area because although you want to be able to see the house, I really wanted to make sure that it felt enclosed again. And this was the point where I was just not happy with how the stones looked. Although I love that stone, I just was like, I actually took a couple of days break between the last clip and this one. And I added this sort of mud path again. I wasn't planning on using the mud path in this area because as you can see, well, as you could see in the image, for the inspiration for this it's all just like moss and grass so it's not what I had in mind but I actually really liked the way it turned out and I felt that it worked better with like what I'd put around and maybe with Cole's house as well again let me know do you think I should replace his house with an actual wooden cabin I could get Bo or someone like that if you have any suggestions let me know down in the comments below and we're just adding some final bits and pieces. So I will let me finish on up and I'll speak to you when it's done.
so here it is. Um, well, this is the Monoki Forest, and I actually did this little bit in my downtime, not streaming, just lying in bed. So yeah, just by nooks, finish that bit off. And so up through the Monoki Forest. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do back there, but let me know if you have any ideas. And here it is, Ursula's uh, little log cabin, AKA Cole's house, hey Cole. And of course he's hanging out in front of his house cause he knows it's the best place, you know? It's the best place to be. Anyway, hello Paul. <laughs> um, we have of course the artboard where Cole can do his many uh, inspirational pictures, I don't know. <laughs> but this is what the area looks like. I think it's got a really nice um, feel to it. I really like it. It's, yeah, it's quite simple. There's actually not that much stuff compared to quite a lot of other areas of my island, which is great. And yeah, let me know what you think. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for hanging out to the end. I really appreciate it. Look at little Cole at the back sniffing those flowers. Adorable. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and I'll put a playlist to all my Ghibli Island speed builds down below. Finally, thank you so, so much to all my members, my lovely tea leaves. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. As per usual, you guys are awesome. Here are my golden tea leaves. I'll see you in the next video.